Hi, good day. This time, we will start discussing about the repetition control structure. Just a recap of what we discussed, um, I believe that I already also discussed on our last topic about the decision control structure that compasses um, different structures like if, else, if, oh, sorry, if, if else, if else, if, and also the switch case, right? I believe I also discussed about the break and also the continue. This time, we will proceed to the next control structure type or the type of control structure which is the repetition control structure okay so so the repetition control structure it's actually a javascript statement sorry this is javascript that allows a programmer to execute specific blocks of code several times so these are the types of the repetition structure that we will discuss individually okay so we will start with while then we will proceed with do while and lastly the for loop okay so let's talk first about the while structure so if we will talk about the while structure a while structure it's a statement or a block of statements that is repeated if some conditions is actually satisfied. So meaning, um, if ever that the condition is true, that's the time that it will go inside your curly brace. Okay, please take note on that one. Okay, I have a set of examples here, but before going to the examples, if you can see here in the flowchart of while, this is the condition itself so if the condition is true um, it will execute the process block then it will loop again but if it's not but if it's false it will go ahead and terminate the program but it really depends on the problem itself okay let's proceed to the example i have example number one here so before implementing this one in our um, in our um, text editor or sorry in our visual studio code i will explain this one and i want you to imagine what is the output okay so example number one um, let the counter be one so we already have a value one for the counter variable okay so while one it's less than or equal to 10 so this is actually our condition okay this is actually similar to the condition that you also created before uh, in the other control structure but in this time we are doing it um, for the repetition part okay so if ever that the that the result of the condition here it's true that's the time that it will execute the statements or the expression inside the curly brace okay so for example counter which is one it's less than or equal to 10 it's true right so if it's true it will display document that right counter it's um is should be one then by this part we actually incremented our counter by one this is actually similar as uh, I need to uh -huh, sorry I just need to okay this is actually similar to uh, one moment um, this is counter okay one moment counter plus plus that is actually similar okay okay or for this one the conversion for this one it's actually similar to one moment this is actually similar to counter forgive my penmanship equals counter again plus one 
that is actually similar. Okay? So, basically, on this example, it will loop until number 10 because of the equal sign. Okay? So, let's try to run this one in our Visual Studio Code. Okay. One moment. Let me create a new file. So, HTML. Uh, HTML. I'm sorry. Script script okay there you go i will say this one as while loop example dot html okay let's start by um let counter equals to one right but before putting in the counter oh, counter equals one then let input because this time we will try to let the user input something okay that prompt uh, enter a value then after here uh, we will do the while then counter it's less than or equal to the input so what it will do first it will uh, what it, what it will do um, it will display first document that right after displaying document that right it will put here the counter um, counter then we will call the value of the counter of course then don't forget to put Sorry, I need to include as well the, there you go, and counter plus plus, sorry. Before putting in the counter plus plus, uh -huh. yeah, counter plus plus, okay, counter plus plus, there you go. If I will save this one, and I will try to run the code, one moment. I'm sorry. Why it's here? Okay, I will drag it here first. So let me rerun the code. So if the user will input five, there. So counter one, two, three, four, five. Right? Am I right? <laughs> So, if ever that you can see an output something like this that starts with 1, that is because of the counter. That is because of the value that you initiated or, sorry, that you instantiated in your counter. But if you want to start with 0, actually, you can change that. All you need to do is to change this one, 0, then save it and go back to the browser and refresh it. So, if I'll input 5 there you go it started with zero and it ended with five so for this one you have six outputs a while ago you only have five right okay how about if i will only put here less than okay so if i will save that one and rerun the code there you go it started with zero and it ended with four because five it's actually le uh, sorry uh five it's already um equal to the five inputted by the user okay so it's false that's why it uh it it's actually uh, it did not run this expression or this statement it went out um in our loop okay that's for the example number one how about for the next example if you can see this one, uh, actually we can change this one to let or var if you want. So counter times counter, then less than 1000, right? So document that right, counter times counter, then counter plus plus. Let's try to implement this one directly. Counter, we will use one here. 
then input still then counter multiply it by counter then 1000 then near counter times counter counter multiply it by the counter okay if we will run this code I will refresh this one I'll input 5 there you go so I need to put sorry I really need to put um, BR one moment mm -hmm. so that okay again I would like to input um, 900 there up to there you go right so what is actually the purpose of the code if you will go back to the PDF file um, you are actually multiplying the counter by itself as long as it is not greater than um, 1000 right so if counter it's um, if you will multiply 1 times 1 the answer is 1 that's why if you can see in our first output the answer is 1 next since we incremented 1 by 1 uh, sorry since we incremented 1 to the counter the counter now it's it becomes 1 uh, sorry it becomes 2 one moment it becomes 2 so 2 times 2 then the answer is 4 next it's 3 times 3 of course it's 9 up until 967 uh, sorry 961 okay that is actually a multiplication number this uh, this is the code um, this is actually your code to use if you want to create a multiplication table okay I have another example here for while loop okay please take note on this one okay so for example I will let the user input a value then after inputting the value it will get the sum of its value okay let me show you how one moment so basically for this one Sorry, I will save that one. Uh, create a new file again, but I will copy this. Save this while loop example example two. Don't worry because I'll be providing um, all the files, the HTML files that I used here in our class. Okay, so in this part, all you need to do first thing that we need to do of course we need to declare our variables so let the x come zero then sum equals zero as well next let input window dot prompt enter a value okay semicolon so i will use now the while loop so x i will um, put a condition here for x it should be less than the input of the user okay then put the curly brace so inside our curly brace i will now put the document that write the purpose of this it's to display um, the value of x so i need to plus I will call the value of x then I will also put a there a br so that it will have a line break next I will now use the sum variable because I will let the uh, I will let the program um, compute the sum okay so sum plus the x semicolon I will now um, put a counter sorry I need to put a 
an increment. There you go. So basically, after this one, I also, if ever that the, uh, the condition is already false, this is the time that it will display the sum of the result. So I need to put document that right. Again, the line code 12, this is actually, uh, the purpose of this, it's to di display the sum of the number or the sum of the x. Okay? So one moment. The sum of x is, I need to call the value, of course, of the sum, then semicolon. If I will save it and I'll try to run this code, one moment, I need to yeah. try to run this code. Where is it? Here. Okay. One moment. Here we go. Okay. I'll refresh it. Then if ever that the user inputted 10, uh, sorry, 5. So it started with 0. Then it ended with less than the 5, of course, since that's actually the purpose of this condition. But if you will check the output, it actually adds all the value of x. So from 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, the result is x. Right? As simple as that. How about if we will start with 1 and we will use equal sign here. So basically, if I will run the code again, of course, it will start with loop 1. It will start with value 1 here, but it adds the number 5. So 5 plus, uh, sorry, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, the result is now 15 right i have last example here hopefully you are, you were able to understand the example that i um, showed here in my presentation i will copy this i will create a new file i will delete this part and i will save it and this is actually why loop example um, three that HTML. Okay. Um, now I will show you how to create a program that will basically ask input from the user. Then it will create a um, an asterisk or it will create a star. So how to do it? First things first. I need to create a variable that will ask input from the user so window dot prompt then enter a value next i will create uh, i will create a variable that will become row that has a value one so while um, i will now create the condition while row it's less than or equal to the input what should it will do uh what will uh what it will do so basically here um i will create another variable um stars here or let's create asterisk na lang asterisk will become one then inside the while I will also create another one while this is actually nested while so I will explain this code later on so star uh, asterisk here it's less than or equal to the row should be inside document that right it will show the asterisk. It will print the asterisk. Then it will initialize the uh, asterisk. Uh, I need to add to one. Okay. So basically, 
I actually incremented the asterisk by 1. And if it will go out to this loop, it will go directly here. So document that right. Then it will only this um, create a line break. Then I will increment the row just like what I did with the asterisk. This one. Okay, here I will explain this code. So for the while loop, I actually use nested while for this um, asterisk or for this star pattern to work. Okay, or asterisk pattern to work. First things first, in our line number six, if the condition here will be true, it will go inside here. Okay, so I already, for example, if a row is one, it's less than or equal to the input. For example, the inputted value of the user is three. So that's true, right? So the asterisk now, it's one, then went to this loop again then the asterisk it's which is one it's less than or equal to row which is one it will display this after displaying it it will loop and loop and loop if it will um, if the condition here will become false that's the time that it will go out to this um, to this loop okay I will try to run the code one moment okay mm -hmm. here for example I'll input 4 enter there you go you can see that um, it has 4 rows then it has 4 columns right 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 there you go that is because of the um, while nested while that I use take note on this one guys